So we're going to be using the unit circle to explore the properties of sine and cosine beyond the region 0 to 90 degrees. But to start with, I'd just like to do an example problem pair to help you get familiar with drawing and labeling values on a unit circle diagram. So we're going to represent sine 30 and cos 30 using a unit circle diagram. So here is our unit circle and we'll draw on a radius of length one at an angle at 30 degrees to the positive x direction. We're interested in a point on the circle and to get to that point we go a distance in the x direction of cos 30 and a distance in the y direction of sine 30. So let's think about the values of cos 30 and sine 30. We looked at these earlier when we were considering specific exact values and we found that cos 30 was root 3 over 2 and sine 30 was 1 half. And so the point on our circle has x coordinate root 3 over 2 and y coordinate 1 half. And this is what we mean by representing it on a unit circle. Right, here's an example for you to have a go at for yourself then. Pause the video and then come back and check your solution against mine. Welcome back, here's my solution. We draw a radius of length 1 that's at an angle of 60 degrees to the positive x direction. That tells us that we need to travel a distance in the x direction of cos 60 and a distance in the y direction of sine 60. We know the exact values of these two. Cos 60 is a half, sine 60 is root 3 over 2. And so the coordinates of the point on our circle are half root 3 over 2. 